Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Daniel posted it online already? That was nice. Congrats. You're part of his online portrait posse. Don't be jealous. I'm sure he'll ask you soon. Oh, you're a wit, Max. It's the company I keep, Warren. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. For a week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, bitch! Nothing but a butterfly. You're full of shit. I'd respect you more if you told me the truth. I don't need your respect. You're clueless. You have no idea who I am or what I can do. Actually, I have a pretty good idea of who you are. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Oh. Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. 
So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. We had such a blast drawing these together. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. It reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super-secret closet lair. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly.
That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never d Is this a desk or a storage space? She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. It won't play without any power. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like I should be able to find the tools I need here. 